Hi, I'm Sophie. And I'm Hannah. And welcome to my world. So today, Hannah, we're going to make a very simple Halloween costume. Awesome. As you can see, Hannah is a little devil, and I am a pumpkin. Basically, all we've done is we've taken t-shirts and hoodies, and we've just added some felt to make them into a costume. So we're going to make a ghost okay. out of a white t-shirt. This is one of those easy, really quick costumes that you can make. The only thing about it is that if you use uh, the white glue that we're going to use right now, you will need to let them dry. However, if you use hot glue with adult supervision, you can basically wear it as soon as the hot glue is cooled. Okay, so what we're going to be using for this is we're going to use a t-shirt. We've chosen a white one because we're going to make a ghost. Okay. And you're going to need some black felt. And you're going to need some glue and a pair of scissors. Now, this kind of glue, this tacky glue, is great for these kinds of shirts, but the only thing about it is it can be very sticky and gloppy, and so what I've done is I've actually taken some of it and put it into a container. <coughs> you okay there? Sorry. So if we can, um, if we find that we can't get it out of the bottle when we start demonstrating for you, we'll use it from here, and that would be using a popsicle stick as well. Okay, so Hannah, the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna cut two pieces of felt. Just That's that one mm -hmm. and two. And these are going to be my eyes. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make kind of like scary, squiggly eyes, right? Nice. So I'm going to fold my, I've got my two pieces sitting on top of each other. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fold them in half, and I'm just going to cut like an ovally shape that has like a little wiggle waggle to it. So almost just rounding out those corners and then adding a little bit of divot. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I kind of almost made them look like little figure eights. Yeah. So there you have it. So those are going to be the eyes. Now, for the mouth, I think we should make something that's kind of like, oh, yeah, like it's kind of screaming or something. And so let's see. We're going to cut another piece of felt. And again, you, you can kind of figure, you know, if you put your eyes down in their position, you can figure how big you want your mouth to be, yeah. right? So about maybe that big. In our case, it's going to be about 12 inches. So we're going to cut that. And this shirt's probably for a bigger person, not like, you know. Yeah, not like a little not person. A little kid. Yeah, exactly. So then once again, I fold it in half, and I'm going to cut down, almost like a rainbow. See how I made like a yeah. rainbow? Then I'm going to cut it around and up. So like a ghoulish smile. Yeah. So it can be either a ghoulish smile. Mm. Or a ghoulish frown. Mm. Or think, a very large mustache. I think <laughs> he could be Super Mario. <laughs> so now, Hannah, we put them on our t-shirt. And one of the things that you want to make sure that you do with your t-shirt is you want to put a piece of cardboard behind your t-shirt. Sit it, you know, stick it right on oh, inside. So it's stretched out enough so it doesn't, you know, scrunch and when you move it. Exactly. You don't want to get all those wrinkles and stuff like that. That's the great thing about this piece of cardboard is it's going to stretch it out. The other thing is when we put the glue on, we don't want the glue to go through and stick to the back side of the t-shirt. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to wear it. Exactly. So we're actually going to have two reasons for this, and that is to keep it open and then to keep it open. OK, so what we're going to do, hopefully our glue will work here. What we want to do is we place our, our pieces on, the, and then what we want to do is just fold up the top part here. We want to keep it on the t-shirt, because if we try to like pick it up, put the glue down, it gets drippy and icky and messy. It's really much easier if you put it on the shirt. And then everything's in its established place all the time. Exactly. So we're lucky here because this is actually squeezing out nicely. So then I'm going to go drop that down. And then I just pick up the other part. Now what's great about this glue is that it dries in about 45 minutes. And I'm just putting this glue on the outside and then putting a little bit on the inside. Do you want to pat that down a little bit? Sure. Do you and want to finish this up? Please? Sure. You want to finish it up? One of the most important things just to remember is you want to make sure that you get lots of glue around the edges because you don't want it to peel away. But the fun thing about this is that any kid of any age can really do this. It's nice and simple, and it makes a really quick, easy costume if you're like, oh my gosh, I have to go to a costume party and I have nothing to wear. Well, all you need is an old t-shirt and some felt, and you are set and ready to go. So Hannah is going around the edges very nicely there. Very good, Hannah. And if you want to plan it ahead, sometimes um, 
You could do like a collared shirt or you could do a dress maybe? Mm -hmm. Sure, you could do basically anything that's fabric. Yeah. The great thing about felt too is that it doesn't fray. And so, you know, once you cut it, it's going to stay in the position that it is in. It's not going to kind of get all wiggle wonky and get all those little strings and stuff. You're doing an excellent job here. I'm very impressed. Mm. So she's almost done with her mouth. And don't worry if you get a little bit of white glue on the front of your felt because that's going to dry. And as soon as it dries, it's going to be nice and clear and you won't even see it. So she's almost done here. Mm. You know, squeezes out pretty um, tacky. Yeah, it does. This is great glue because it's nice and thick. I prefer this to like uh, those thinner school glues because they can get a little runny. And especially not, um, not a glue stick. Oh no, you couldn't use a glue stick, but you could use hot glue. So we're going to hold this up for you to see. And there he is, Mr. Ghosty. So all you would have to do is let him dry, put him on, and then you can be spooktacular for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> For more great ideas on what to wear very quickly this Halloween, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.